as a consistent name all the way through the season, it's been Wadi. He's, I don't think he's ever gotten below 17th at an event this entire season, which is really impressive. Wadi is extremely consistent. I'd actually put him as a favorite to win this. He's, I th well, I, at the very least, I think he will do much better than his performance uh, at Congo Saga. You think? Yeah, I. I would be surprised if he does not get uh, better than fifth place. Uh, but we'll see here. He's in winner's quarters now at this point, and he's playing against Niatono. This will be intriguing. I know this can be a bit of an annoying matchup for Rob, as you do need a bit of time to get some of the gyro setups going, and Pichu can just be so in your face that you're not even afforded the opportunity. But yeah, this is a very tricky matchup for, for Rob, like you said. Just not sure how many Pichus there are in MDBA. The pressure that Pichu can put on Rob and, and, and get in his face is, makes it very difficult. I mean, we're going to see Wadi be using that Nair a lot to just try to keep Pikachu out. At the same time, out. Wadi might not be going Rob. He's been... Okay, he is going to be going Rob. I know he has a tendency to just try out the Mewtwo and the Leaf at times, especially in some of these after locals, but... I don't think it was ever... That was ever a serious name for him. I don't I know think so either, but... Playing, I was playing around with the character after the buffs that it got, but... Um, I mean, he used Weep it over the weekend. Rob. On to FD. This is the first time we've seen this stage in a while. Yeah, already a bunch of Nairs here. Just uh, Wadi going high with these Nairs. Uh, I think he's trying to catch some kind of jump from Niatono here. And he finally does. Quick couple of down tilts into the grab, though. Yeah, so it's really going to be a, a combination between these down tilts and these uh, Nairs just to try to keep P2 out here. And already Wadi's doing a pretty good job, but he's off stage here. And this is where these big body characters really struggle. Um, he's going to have to figure out a way around, like back on stage like he has, and then around Pikachu, which he was also able to do there. Oh no. Yep, the second hit of the agility. And, yeah, Neotono once stage. again getting that missed angle. I don't know why he was going for something so specific there. Continuing this with the blaster, throws him into the gyro. Rolls around, tech roll in, but excellent recognition from Neotono. It's a good reaction and is reactable. Parries the get up attack and gets the down smash. Or yeah, just, shield just it. shield it. But, uh. Yeah, just body. Maybe <laughs> hoping he would uh, not see it coming. But he did. Okay. Yeah, it's tricky with that agility because you don't know exactly what angle they're going to go for and to, to get that two frame. Uh, you know, you, you need to know that. Miyatono with a second lease on life after he fell out of the up air. Waits out the arm rotor too, just going high. Yeah, Pichu's, Pichu, Rage, Rage Pichu is pretty scary. Uh, but well, lucky for Wadi here, he was able to take that stock. Deals with the threat well. Miyatono smartly not budging after the EZ dropped the gyro. Okay, uh, Wadi getting some conversions here. As much extra credit as he can, uh, which is so useful, uh, especially against P2, who's going to damage himself already as he tries to take out the stock. Caught between the oh, gyro, though. Oh, no. the setup. He was just stuck between a rock and a hard place, and that up smash came out at the exact wrong moment for Nia Tono. There's got to be a name for that setup. I believe it's been colloquially called the Robble. The what? The Robble. The wobble? No, the robble. Oh, the robble, like a wobble with a rod. Yes. Okay. I'm I love not sure it. if the name's stuck, but if you've got any clever names for that, I want to see it in chat right now. Yes, drop them below because we 
we clearly lack creativity here. I was just going to call it the top and bop. It's all right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> getting back into the next game here. It looks like P2 and Wa Rob go and edit again. And uh, Rob going the P2 colors. Obviously, some form of camouflage. Maybe thinking that Pichu will not hit one of his own kind. All right. I mean, he is that, you know, that automated search software somewhere within him. I, I don't think Rob is, I don't think he discriminates here. He just attacks anyone. Huge conversions coming out here from Neotono. This is what he needs to get himself in this next game. Okay, gets him on the platform here. Um, I think Wadi meant to angle that laser up, but just kind of missed it. I think he was expecting Neotona to tech and drop down, actually, but he missed the tech on top of the platform, and that's a bit of a missed opportunity. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that parry on that gyro is super useful because uh, it gets rid of the projectile, makes, uh, makes it so Neotona has all that space to work with as he tries to catch the ledge trap. Throws out of ground in the wrong direction, and that Nair is actually going to catch him with a back hitbox. All right. Gets the ledge. Oh, Wadi just barely living that. Excellent DI out of the corner, and the Gyro actually going to protect his recovery. Wadi dash dancing around that top, maybe hoping to catch Neotono dashing into it as in an aggressive approach. Okay, bad here. Oh, Thunder conversion comes out from Neotono there. Just gets okay. him at the right amount of percent. Excellent work from Neotono. Wadi is going to be down that one stock, which is something we didn't see in game one. Because Wadi took one stock and then just ran with the lead in game one. But now that he's playing from a deficit, he has to approach this matchup a bit differently. All right, lots of thunder. I mean, you might as well spam him at this point because anything just like that will kill you. Yeah, not over-reliant on the arm rotor, but finally pulls it out of the pocket when he needs to. Goes for laser. Neotona ready for it, though. He's going to parry. Neotona's been parrying all these gyros. Very impressive and very good for him just to keep the thing out of his way. Press catch landing here. And it's so hard for La Rob to land in this matchup. You know, uh, Wadi's really doing an excellent job here. One down that. tilt, though. Well, I was going to say that could be the start of it, but that could be the end of Wadi's sock if he's not careful. Okay, Neotono here. He's got Rob at kill percent. And he's got Rob killed. And what yeah. allowed... Uh, Neotono to get that grab is that he actually managed to low profile the gyro throw, which is something that not many characters can do. Yeah. Landing fair here. Oh, he gets under Wadi there. That was so, it's such a clever recovery. I, I love that from Neotono. Yeah, okay, yeah, and that F tilt. Uh, is going to do a good job of poking Rob's shield. Uh, that's something that Wadi needs to be careful about, but he hasn't gotten hit by it once. And he goes into the down smash, though. Gyro throw onto Neotono. Oh, there we go. Wadi getting it there, uh, trying to get ne Neotono to chase him into the gyro. Close range Thunder Joel. Okay. Air dodge. Neotono not fighting early, which is what Wadi wants him to do. Yeah, him out of the air with the Nair. Wadi off stage here. It's gonna take a miracle for him to get back. Just sticks out the toes. There that was no F miracle. Neotono evens out the set. And that was just clinical at the very end. He just shut out any approach Wadi was going for. Kept him off stage twice. Wadi tried to throw out a couple aerials to bait Neotono into jumping and then taking the direct route back to the ledge, but 
Neotono just held his ground, stayed firm, and just trapped them on the ledge for too long. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly here. And now we're going to game three here. This is uh, winner's... Winner's quarters. Quarters. I almost said semis. Uh, so that means that this is our last game. We still have one more quarters match after this, but the loser of this game is going to be dropping into the loser's bracket and could potentially fall outside the top eight. Definitely. Okay, Neotono taking his time here, trying to find his way in. He's in no rush. He's got eight minutes to work with. I love that from Neotono, though, just holding on to the gyro, not throwing it away, knowing that Wadi can't pull out another one as long as he has it in his hands, yeah, or I guess in Pichu's case, in his mouth. Yeah, Wadi went for that unsafe dash attack earlier. I'm really surprised he didn't get punished harder. This tech is that going to be X smash? No. I don't no think one. it would have killed at that percent, so he's going for more damage. But wasn't really able to get that much. If he just went for F smash, it would have killed. But it doesn't matter because that down smash will kill instead. I don't know if that up forward smash would have killed. Rob is a very heavy character, so he might have just wanted to go for the up tilt up air, just attack that extra bit of damage on, knowing that another tech chase situation would have had enough damage to get the KO. Yes. All right, up air, up air. So many up airs. How many up airs? Three. Uh huh. I can count. Anyway. God. Oh, Neotono just perfectly spaced out that dash attack there. That was really good from him. Waits out the down air, but even with that splat and the landing lag, Neotono is going to be able to walk away from that safely. And Wadi yep. just can't afford to let him go away from a situation like that unharmed. Pichu just being so small, I mean, it's it's going to be such a frustrating rush up for Rob. But uh, Wadi able to still find that conversion there with the down tilt into the down smash. It's just so evasive of a character. And Neotono able to get it off of the up tilt too. What can't he convert into that thunder? And Neotono up two stocks here. I mean, really, Rob only needs a few hits to, to take out Pichu, but the thing is, it's such a small target that this is a really difficult hill to climb for Wadi. Neotono still with two stocks to play with. Wadi down to his winner side stock. He's going to bury him. Is oh, and gets wow. him into the gyro too. Great timing. Yeah, that thing stayed up for a long time. I thought it went into outer space there. All right. Up smash, the Randy up smash there. Maybe hoping to catch some kind of approach, but Wadi's going to pay big for it, and he doesn't have a lot of money left here at this point. Yeah, that wall looking awfully thin as Neotono continues to just carry him from one side of the stage to the other. Safely makes it back with the help of the gyro, but who knows for how much longer he can afford to play this game. Random jabs here coming in, but we're gonna have Neotono at the edge. Wadi needs this edge guard so bad, or this ledge trap, and he's gonna chase him all the way to the center stage and finally get that back air. Dare, okay, though. Some damage here coming out from Wadi. This is his chance. Ooh, close game here as Wadi lands another dash attack. Neotono make a statement here by taking out Wadi. That'd be a big win for him. Just goes back around out of shield to punish that. Patiently waiting over here. Wadi almost out of fuel here. He needs to land. Like I said, fifth place. So Neotono.